Have you noticed? Motion graphics are having a moment. They're popping up everywhere. And the best part? You don't need fancy software or a degree in animation to make them. Just Canva. That's it. In this video, I'm going to walk you through three cool motion graphic styles you can create with Canva. Step by step, no overwhelm, no stress, and definitely no after effects. All right, let's do this. Okay, first I'll go to Canva, I'll go to YouTube video here, and go ahead and open up a couple of new pages. I'm gonna make all of these black. Next, I'll come up here and search for a stick person. I'll also click on these three little things, scroll down to animated, click on that, then go to graphics. Let's look for a stick figure, stick man. All right, that's not working. Let's try stick person. Yes, that's a little bit better. Now I'll look through these. I think I'll choose this guy. Move him right here in the middle. And I'll choose this guy. And for this one, I will choose this guy. Next, I will add the quote. So I've got some inspirational quotes I want to use. I'll click on text and click on that there. Move it up here, change it to white, then animate it. I'll click on typewriter and make it go faster. And for this one, I think what I'll do is bring him back over there. Click on animate. Click on this B and then I'll hold down the shift key as I pull him across just like that. Next, I'll click on Steady. There we go. Okay, so we'll go to this one and go to Animate. Let me add the quote. I'll go back to Typewriter and speed it up a little bit. And for this one, I'll add the color, animate it, choose Typewriter. I'll follow the same basic process with this one too. And then between each of these, I'll add a color wipe transition. Okay, let's see what we have. Excellent. If you want to download it, go to File, go to Download, choose MP4, all your pages, then click Download. Now you can put it on social media or wherever you want. If you follow these basic steps, you'll be able to make a motion graphic too. Let's make another. On this one, I'm going to turn it to all pages to black, and I'll add a couple more. I'll go to Elements and search for Grid again, and add it here. In a minute, I will add the graph to each page. Next, I'll come back over here and search for bouncing ball graphics. I think I like that one and that one. And we'll just use all three of them for now. I'll put this one here. And here. And put that one there. Next, I'll add a line. I'll choose a thick one and put it down at the bottom and change it to white. There we go. So now it looks like this ball is bouncing on that. Then come to text, go to animate, like that. Then do it again. Then do it again. Now let's watch.
If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like it, subscribe to the channel, and share it with your friends. Until next time, keep creating, keep innovating, and keep making it with AI. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.